We're on banquet. Wait, is that the real storm dragon? You gotta be kidding me. Keep looking out for Wimu for me, Dryad. You'll be looking out for me now, too. Hey, what do you mean by that, Lord Valdor? Just what is your relation to with the great Wimu? Wimu is my bosom buddy, my other half, my sworn friend. What? He's friends with just Lady Malim? With not... With not just Lady Malim, but you as well, Vidoa. Well then, why have you taken this form? Rumu prepared this body for me to inhabit. Well, I took a look marvelous, don't I? Yes, it suits you very well. I see, thinking back, I understand now. Group Rumu appeared before us in our village just after you van- vanished. I was keeping it a secret. I thought I would take over a hundred years to free Valdo. And if this had gotten out, there was no telling who would have come after me. Now then, Gurumu, the preparations for the feast are complete. Oh, okay. Everyone, we have had some hard times so for today. Let's forget it all and eat, drink, and be merry. Let's just be glad we are all still alive. My cooking will be ready soon, too. What? Please go away ahead and dig in. You hold you hold the lady, Benimaru? No way, she was talking to you, Great Rumu, wasn't she? I'm telling you, go ahead and take point. Like I'm gonna go to my death that easily. Hey, I, I know. Why don't we fight f- for it, fair and square? Fight for it? If I can land just one attack on you, Gurumu, then you have to try the food first, please. How's that fan screw? All right. It's taking longer than expected. Should be done done two more rounds. Yep, done the next round. Excuse me. What is this? Oh. You are me being so childish, great when we seriously. You're the one acting like he's fighting for his life. Well, I guess so, but a promise is a promise. Please swear you'll gather up my bones. This is delicious, Xion. What's the meaning of this? No way. What? How does it look so awful but taste so amazing? Actually, the gift I got when I came back to life gave me a new skill. The unique skill Master Chef. With that, this skill, anything I cook tastes just like I want it to, no matter how I cook it. I see, thank goodness, wait, Benmar. Now we won't have to die. 
Next time, please at least do the basic ingredient prep, okay? Presentation is important when it comes to cooking too. Wait. Everyone, I'm sure you already know who this is, but let me introduce him anyways. This is Diablo, the one who saved me from certain death. He's new, but he's really strong and dependable. So I plan to put him to work as a second secretary. I would like you all to treat him well. Everyone, I will be de- will deeply appreciate your guidance and encouragement. Teaching the whoops for, uh, of the job for me. Understood. And Gabu, yes, master. As of today, you're in charge of develop- development. It's a temporary position, but you will be on top of, be at the top of the ranks. So I'm counting on you. Except I, Gabu, will devote all my all to this task. Overlapping authority. Good, and now I'd like to discuss our plans for the future. Yarm and the three biscuits. This involves you guys, so s- stay and listen. Uh, does this have to do with the rescue of Lord Carrion? Yes, I've decided to become a demon lord. You are the R one. That's not what I mean. I'm going to announce to the world that I am a demon lord. Oh, you mean you tend to pick a fight with the other demon lords? Yes, and by other demon lords, I mean Clayman. Kyrion was carried off to his domain. I see you want to steal the demon lord's throne yourself. Interesting. That's right, the one behind everything that just happened was the demon lord Clayman. I have no intention of letting him get away with it. We good. You will handle negotiations with the nations to the west. No to the trustworthy bonds we have already made and proceed with caution. Understood. Ben and I gather the results of everyone's evolutions. If we want to use all our forces against Clayman, we need to know our strength. Shion, you'll inter- interrogate the world prisoners. Just don't take it too far. Understood. No need to worry. I hope not to your Mulan. Help Shion out. Get them to tell you whatever you can about the state of Falmouth. Then we'll take the kingdom. You can count on me, Rumu. It's, it's going to be my kingdom after all. Biscuitus, I'd like you to ask you to help us too. Or you, you need not even ask. Leader of the Joe. Force of Joe. Benema or so I have arrived. I mean, Rumu, so I have a holy do- here in accordance to the secretary- security pact between Bullmood and Tempest. There are so many dead in the city, how could Falmouth be so cool? Oh, they are not dead, they are passed out drunk. It is many, but I have brought 50 fully armed soldiers. I really do appreciate your concern, but it's already over. It's over? What do you mean? How do you put this basically in a world? I wiped them out. The whole army of the Kingdom of Falmouth. What? I get how you feel. Just go jump in the hot spin and rest for a while. What? Looks like more visitors. Visitors? But they are... No, the study knights approaching. They are led by the kin of the armed nations, Drogon. They are... They just keep coming, don't they? Understood. It's been a while, been a long time, Mumu. I heard you have become a demon lord. Yes, well, I th- a lot of things have been going on. It's going to be a pain, frankly, but we were just having a meeting discussing future plans. Perfect time, and I will take part in this meeting as well. When did they get here? Didn't sense anything, Raphael. No obvious hostility in this scoop, so I did not notify you. Sulky about it, but if they are not enemies, then who who are you people? Well, well, if it isn't a kin who lives hidden away on the ground. I'm surprised I never expected a coward like you to back a demon lord. It's you, the elf descendant, infatuated with stupidly high places, so you deem to come down from your tree city, no more likely. 
Yes, this body is an artificial human, a homunculus. I can't be careful enough when meeting one who claims to be a demon lord. These people are from the Sorcerer's Dynasty, Sherion. Good to see you. You still look the same, Ewald. My name is Rumu. I'm currently serving as Chancellor of the Jewel Force Alliance. Nice to meet you. So it's you. You are the demon lord who swindled my daughter. Hope you are ready to pay the price. The hell is these geese are doing? Why is he using that all of a sudden? Dad, what the heck are you doing here? Sweetie, you are all right. Of course I am. I came here on my own will. I received a report saying my daughter had been carried off by a demon lord, so I couldn't help panicking. I see you are still an overprotective father. Not overprotective, Aaron is just so adorable. There's nothing that I can else I can do. This is my father, the Archduke of the Sorcerer's Dynasty, Sarion. Leader of the Great Force of Jewel and ruler of the monsters. As my daughter, Owen, as I just told you, my name is Owald Grimwald. Please call me Owald. Sure, I, I, I had heard she was the daughter of nobility, but I had no idea that he was... She was that he was that big of a deal. So is Aaron the only reason you're here? Of course not. I wanted to see you with my own two eyes since my daughter is taken with you. Therefore I will also be taking part of in this meeting. Hidden Darkness So, what's this I hear about invading Eurasania? Milliam did wipe out the capital, but the country still remains quite populated. There are many small settlements full of people scattered throughout it. They should make the perfect sacrifice for my awakening, don't you think? Including non combatants that seems a bit drastic, doesn't it? Seems like claiming may be panicking. You don't have to... Do this right before such an important juncture as Walpurgis, do you? Plus, don't the demon lords have that non-interference treaty? There's no need to worry about that. The slime killed Melan, Melan, my wind finger that counts as a threat to me, a sign that he intends to take my place as demon lord. I have a reason to believe the demon lord Carrion put him up to it that's what i intend to empathize with the others i see it makes sense if the other side betrayed you false way what Mulan's dead yes i hold it all happened through the marionette heart and the heart that was in my possession turned to ash and she was such a good woman you are much too kind. Tew said something similar to me the other day. She said I should treat my tools with more respect. She must have learned that from you, Laplace, which is why I must demand that the one who broke my tool take responsibility. Did you really come up with this plan all by yourself? The only ones who can give me orders are Lord Kazalim and the one I am indebted to. You should know that better than anyone. If you say so, all good. Then I'm gonna get going. But let me give you some friendly advice. You shouldn't be so confident in your abilities to control Demon Lord Malim. She's been around way longer than even President Kazalim. She's one of the oldest Demon Lords out there. So don't get too cocky. He, was he suggested that I'm being controlled by someone else? How provoking. I mean, you all, but uh, you to them. For what felt like the hundredth time, I explained the whole story of how I reincarnated as a slime, and the events followed to the newcomers, and King Gazel and Erold, who was the Archduke and Emissary of the Sorcerers, uh, not to mention Aaron's father. What could this mean? The Storm Dragon Valdora has returned. It beggars belief. 
you're becoming a demon lord was one thing, but this complicates things further. Do we make this nudes public or conceal it? Out of all the dragons, they regard Stone Dragon with particular hostility. They have probably already discovered that the evil dragon is back. Well, I plan to spread the word about Valdor anyway, and if we can't avoid the Western Holy Church, we'll have to do something. If that is the decision, I have no complaints. Join the forces with the dragon, could there be a more troubling tone of events? It's no laughing matter, still how unfortunate. Since I was able to take part in this private meeting, I gained the best possible knowledge with such with which to determine my nation's position. It would be foolish to pick a fight with a nation that's home to, to both a demon lord and a dragon. Oh, so you're saying that even if the Western Holy Choice becomes our enemy, you'll take our side? Is that a fair conclusion? You should really learn the art of unspoken message. Wait, we have no real reason to be hostile to you. It would be only put our nation in danger. We are also under no obligation to the Western Holy Church, understand? Yeah, it will be reassuring to have you on our side, Gazel, but we haven't established diplomatic relations with Sarion. Or oh, should it be Lord Elwood? Why are you being so cordial? Oh. In formal settings, please address me both as, both as with both my name and my title. You are the leader of, na of a nation. There's no need to be so humble yourself before another nation's authority. Now then, allow me to answer your question, since I was the daughter of, uh, I mean, Erwin, who told you how to become a demon lord, I am charged with taking responsibility for that, this is why I came here personally, to judge you for myself, with the poss possibility of dispatching an army in kind, if I deem it necessary. And what judgment have you made? As I said earlier, I choose friendship, of course, this arrangement is not within, without its problems. The army of farmers that remove and annihilated produce so far too many casualties, a demon lord who has killed 20,000 men, don't worry about that, all the bodies have van vanished, leaving no proof that there is not a single survival. Which means we can alter the story as we please, how do you plan to explain it? That means we can provide our own explanation. Listen well, the basic plan goes... What keeps piling up? What keeps piling up? After that, we had a very detailed discussion, then headed back to resume the meeting. Oh, Foos, you, you are okay. How are you feeling? You you need to tell me you're pulling things like that beforehand. How am I going to report this? Alright. We will now resume the meeting. We will start with an explanation of how we got here. Blah, blah, blah. I can't believe it. You fought Hinata Sakaguchi. Yeah, she was incredibly strong. She wouldn't listen to me at all. She was like a cool, cruel, cold-blooded killer. I don't know if they can be who.
Come on, lot. You got this. Come on, you lot got this. Alright, somehow managed to do that. It was the first time in a long while that I really thought I might die. It's just that it gives a different impression from the information we required. She always lends a hand to those who come for help. Though she won't waste her time on anyone who ignores her advice. In other words, her way of thinking is quite reasonable and rational. Leave it to Balmord's guild master. Man who excels excels at intel gathering. I will testify that what you say matches what we I have heard. 
In truth, she is a model knight who has never once violated the teachings of Lord Luminous. She is a true protector of the law and order. If su she's such a model knight, then why do doesn't she try to stop summoning rituals? Bring children here from another world against their will is something that should never be tolerated. We don't know for certain whether or not she truly overlooked summonings performed in other countries, do we? The magic used to summon other worlders is a forbidden ritual, but that cannot be exposed to the public eye. It is designated as a prohibited act by the Council of the West. Even if we asked it about it, that no nation would readily admit to performing it. So if they say they are not doing it, that's the end of it. It's likely that the reason she didn't hear you out is because the teachings of Lord Luminous forbid making deals with monsters. If I could just get a conversation going, it may give us a chance to discuss things, but I have no chance of negotiating, huh? Then allow me to go and take care of her. Hinata's a tough opponent. You don't, you think you could take her? It seems this is my moment to shine. Very well, I shall just step out briefly and take care of this. Unless she comes to attack us, there's no need for us to go to her. No whining. I don't want to get on the whole Western Holy Church's bad side. That concludes the debate on Hinata and Western Holy Church. Depending on what to do, we may end up fading them, but for now, we will treat them with caution and keep an eye on things. Playing them won't help you. I received an ominous tip. Told, sold me out to Hinata. There are, aren't many people who know I killed Shizu. The only subject suspects are... That's right. Raphael, the same guy I was thinking of. So it seems, but if it is him, what's he after? To get Hinata to, and me to fight and get and get rid, rid of one of us? To ch ch stop me from getting back to my my town to lure Hinata? Or perhaps all of the above? Oh, what did you say? Oh, that's it for the for the chapters so far. Eh? Well, thank you for watching.